Hi, in this video I've got a really quick and simple sewing project for you for this little tissue pocket and I've just got a packet of the ordinary tissues that you can pick up in the supermarket or anywhere. These were from Sainsbury's actually in the UK and they were a multi-pack so they're really cheap to buy. Some of them have a perforation down the middle so you can pre-open them but this one didn't so I've just snipped them with the scissors but any little mini tissue pocket sized pack should fit because there is a, a little bit of room in here. Okay, so what you need to start off with this, it's really simple and easy and it only takes little scraps of fabric. So you need two pieces of fab fabric. You need a piece of fabric that's eight and a half inches long by six inches wide and you need another piece of fabric that's seven inches long by six inches wide and to get this finish here where you've got the plain edge and then the pattern that's the inner piece so that's the bigger piece so that's the eight and a half inch piece so what we're going to do is put them right sides together I'm going to use a quarter inch seam allowance and I'm going to sew along this short edge then when I've sewn that I'm going to bring this piece to this edge and sew that. So I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So that's what I've got so far and I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam here. I'm going to turn it round so this is the end we've just sewn and you can see it's short here and I'm going to bring that to match this end now and sew again with a quarter inch seam allowance. machine out of the way okay so this is what you've got so I'm going to flip it inside out and because this plain piece was the bigger piece when you bring it out the right side out now this creates this edge for you which basically is this here so I'm going to press that now that's the right side out I'm just going to give it a quick press and then I'll move on to the next. Okay, so I've pressed it. So what we're going to do now is fold it in half and just finger crease down the middle because we just want to get an idea of where the middle is. Okay, so you can see that there. So we're going to bring this flap to the middle here and this flap to the middle here, like so. And you want to overlap this one over this one just ever so slightly you know probably about an eighth or something like that it's just to give you i don't think you'll be able to see it here but it just gives you a little bit of an overlap here so it doesn't completely gape you just want a, a tiny tiny overlap here now you can pin this if you like but I'm just going to go for it and we're going to sew it now across these short edges again with a quarter inch seam allowance or if you've got a zigzag stitch on your mach on your machine you could do a zigzag stitch I'm just going to do a quarter inch seam allowance because I'm going to finish mine off um, on the serger when you get just try and bring this in a bit more when you get to where the crossover is in the middle you want to go backwards and forwards over this seam just a couple of times because that's going to be the bit where there's going to be some strain on it when you're getting the tissues in and out so I came along here 
and here I went forwards, backwards, forwards and then carried on. I'm just going to come to the other side now and do exactly the same. And that's essentially it. But I'm just going to, as I say, what you can do now, you could do a zigzag or if you have an overcasting stitch on your machine, just to neaten up these edges because we're going to flip it out in a minute. I'm just going to run them through my serger. of the stray bits of cotton so that's where we're up to now then I'm just going to flip it inside out get your fingers into the corner and push them out you might need to get something to push out your corners Use, you shouldn't really use the end of your scissors to poke out your corners in case you poke them through and that's probably what I'll do next but we'll go for it and see what happens right and that effectively is your pocket I'm just going to give it a quick press okay so I've pressed it so that's the pocket so here's the original so I'll take the tissues out of this one because I've not got another packet of tissues handy and they just slide in. There you go. So that's it. So that's one and that's two. Quick and simple, as I say, you can use bits of scrap out of your stash if, you've, if you're just starting sewing and you buy some fat quarters. If you bought two different fat quarters, you'd get a few out of um, two fat quarters. You'd probably get, uh, one, two. you'd probably get six out of two fat quarters and a couple of fat quarters are not very dear. Um, or as I say, just use bits from your stash. So you need two pieces of fabric one at eight and a half by six and one at seven by six and the eight and a half piece is the piece that you're going to use on the inside that's what creates this contrasting color for you so i hope you found that helpful please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you